Guys, I got a good one, I think. Oh boy, is that something good. Look upon my skin and bones. You ragged and you dirty, hardly worth your weight in gold. For all of your suffering, no one gives a good goddamn. It's all about the money, son. We doubt you understand. Guys, I got a good one, I think. I think I got a good one. On the libero. Heck yeah. Nice largey. I had just got a bite back this way. Woo, didn't feel like this one though. Let's go. That will be a breath. Oh yeah, red lip guy. Oh, that felt so, so, so good. Guys, I'm out at a Highland Reservoir today because it's just been insanely cold in Texas, just like everywhere else in the country. Coming off like 89 straight hours below freezing, which is not common at all in Texas. There's actually like ice and stuff still on these bluff rocks here. Um, I went like the first hour and a half to two hours this morning um, without a bite and then I just had a bite on this bluff wall with the sun on it and a little wind. I'm fishing about 12 feet of water right, right now guys. I got a quarter ounce Ray Japan Libero in uh, just like a bait fish color with the silver blade on it. And this guy actually hit it really hard. Um, I waited just a little while and then stuck him because I got a little antsy with the last one. But I have that on six pound fluoro, my Sioux Dark Wolf, and a Dobbin Sierra. I'll take that for a winter fish all day. There's a little bit of snow and ice still left over from the ridiculous cold snap we just had, guys. This is the first day over freezing that we've had in 80 some hours, which is nothing compared to the north, but that is cold for Texas. Got one. Oh boy, is that something good? That is something good on my new rod. Oh sucker, you sucker! Dang it! Oh, uh, it's not a new rod. It's new real guys. Uh, it felt too good to be true. I knew it. Drum buddy. I suppose it's better than no fish. That's fish number two. Caught him on a little 1 8 ounce, 6 cents uh, football head Ned rig with a 2.1 Great Lakes Finesse Snack Craw. But one of the goals that I had for today was to see how this new ARC Gravity BFS reel performed, and guys, it is incredible. Um, I'm not just saying that either. It's 150 bucks, so it's definitely um, a lot more expensive than what I would normally pay for a reel, but uh, it's, it's worth it. I mean, um, it casts really, really smooth. Um, the drag is very smooth. It's kind of got that spinning reel sound to it, which is cool. Um, 
and they really market it based off of its braking system which is supposed to be just the best in the business um, I'm not too geeked out on the internals of it and how it actually works but all I know is that if you back them all the way down and have your spool tension dialed in pretty well you can cast lures down to 1 50th of an ounce guys so pretty much like a uh, like a fly or something um, but I'm really impressed with it so far and I'm looking forward to some warmer water months guys because I want to catch a lot of fish on this thing because it's gonna be a blast it really casts far um, and it the components of it just in general I have to say they are much higher quality um, than my Sioux reels and my Zephyrs for sure so um, first glance and first use it is definitely worth the 150 bucks um, for, and for reference most of my other reels my Zephyrs are 75 and my Dark Wolves are 85 so not quite double but it definitely performs better than the two uh, types of budget reels that I have so I'm looking forward to throwing this a lot more Yeah, this is how it's been lately, guys. This is ridiculous. Breaking ice on the paddleboard. Get out of here. Four months ago, in September, I was fishing this exact area and caught a five pounder in 99 degree water. It is now 36 degree water. That is insane for Texas. We got ice on the bottoms of the dock pilings. If I catch anything, it's gonna be a miracle today. That is the coldest water temp that I've fished on a lake in Texas, 100%. I think previous to that, I had fished 38 degrees one other time, but 36.6, there you go. Not normally what you like to see fishing in Texas, guys. Lost another degree, it's 35.8 now. Chances aren't looking too good today. Guys, so there is a few more really tough uh, dead of winter trips that I've taken. I was able to catch that real nice bass out there at PK on the little libero and then I did get my first fish on my new uh, R Gravity VFS reel. Unfortunately it was a drum and to add value to this video I'm gonna uh, just share with y'all what I think of this new reel and then I have another really cool product that I'm gonna tell you about um, that I just got that I've been throwing the past couple trips as well. But on this Art Gravity VFS reel the components of it are definitely higher quality than my Zephyrs and uh, Dark Wolves. Um, I am impressed with the performance so far except for one area that I'm going to have to do some tinkering with um, I think to get it right but they market this thing to cast lures down to 1 50th of an ounce I mean you're talking like throwing flies at that point um, but I honestly had a lot of trouble with backlashes when I was trying to throw a 1 16th ounce hair jig I was going to just try to catch some uh, pan fish around uh, the boat slips and I could not not for the life of me cast that hair jig with this without backlashing like almost every other cast and it wasn't because I was casting into the wind either most of the time I was casting with the wind and if I cast it with the wind I had to keep my thumb on the spool and really try to um, control it and so I need I need to figure that out or I need somebody if, if, if any of y'all have this reel and you've got it dialed in to where it will cast those really light baits um, whether into the wind or with the wind um, let me know in the comments but honestly that is the one uh, 
setback early on that I've noticed is that it does struggle to throw those baits sub 1 16th of an ounce. If I stick to 1 8th and up, man, this thing absolutely bombs them. It outcasts all of my other reels, and that's saying a lot because I can really throw small baits far with my Dark Wolf my Dark Wolves and my Zephyrs, but this thing will outcast uh, budget reels as long as you keep it above one eighth of an ounce. And I have tried throwing a uh, eight pound braid to a six pound leader. Um, and I have, and what I'm throwing right now is just straight six pound fluoro. And that's the other thing. Sometimes um, with the Zephyrs guys, if you overfill your spool, you're gonna have a heck of a time um, with backlashing and with it getting pinched in between the framing and the spool. Um, but this, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I only have like two thirds of the spool full. And um, so that's not the reason why it was backlashing. So if any of y'all have it dialed in and, and you wanna share with me how you're casting the really light stuff um, well with this gravity reel, let me know. In terms of ratio, it's eight to one so it is pretty fast but I mean that's something that you can always modulate on your own just slowing way down when you're fishing bottom baits or you have the capability to really burn a top water or a crankbait with this reel as well it feels great I love the handles they're rubberized they're, they're they are better than my dark wolf I will say that um, the Zephyr is is more of a foam handle but I really like the rubberized uh, uh, handles on these. It's more uh, uh, like a BFS Curato that I had for a little while. The other, another thing that I actually don't like very much is with the spool tension knob, with the drag star, how it's positioned, it makes it really hard to adjust that on the fly. And when I talk about struggling uh, throwing those little lures, I have my brakes all the way up and I've got that spool tension on pretty well. Um, and honestly, I, like, I, like, like I said, I, I need to figure it out and I need to maybe just break it in a little bit. Um, but time will tell and, and I'll kind of keep y'all posted on that. I don't regret buying it because it is a really good feeling reel in the hands and with the 1 8 stuff and up which is a lot of times what I'm throwing um, I it, it performs extremely well uh, but I do eventually want to be able to throw my 1 16th ounce tungsten spin jigs on these and that's something I haven't tried yet so maybe it will be able to uh, cast those little 1 16th ounce tungsten jigs they'll be a little um, more dense and maybe they'll cast better than that really small hair jig I was trying to throw but overall I am impressed with it just the casting part of it is something that I need to figure out um, with the really small baits and then the other thing that I got new guys and this is something that I haven't caught on yet but I have thrown it quite a bit the last two trips is that uh, hog farmer micro Alabama rig um, so they have the the normal flex rig they have the mini rig this is the micro rig it is the only a rig that I know of on the market right now guys that is designed to throw uh, swim baits three inches and under all <clears throat> I have five six cents uh, 2.7 inch divines on here with one eighth ounce guppy heads on three of them. So it's got three hooks guys um, for bait. So if you live in a state where you can't have five hooks on it, two of these are teasers and then the other three um, are jig heads. So it's only a three um, hook bait, but in terms of performance, it is awesome I, I mean they honestly did a really really good job with the development of this thing it's got two little silver willow blades on it five wires total um, but it doesn't ever get fouled when you cast it I've ripped it into the wind I've casted it with the wind it casts extremely well I haven't ever had the baits foul together yet which is incredible and um, I've even been like you know kind of twitching it and I've been I've been hopping it a little bit and still doesn't get fouled and how i'm throwing that they honestly um you know you can throw it on on spinning gear you can throw it on a conventional casting setup you know me i have pretty much all of my bfs setups so i have a dark wolf with 10 pound braid to a 10 pound fluoro leader and it has been handling it extremely well and then the rod which is probably the most important thing um, i have a light action 
Cast King Kestrel BFS rod. It's their 6.9 um, model. It's a three piece rod. Um, you can get them on Amazon, um, but it's kind of one of those rods that flirts, you know, halfway in the middle of being a BFS rod and just a very light conventional rod. Um, this thing's rated from one tenth of an ounce to five eighths of an ounce, and it's been handling this Alabama rig really well. Um, hopefully, I can hook up with something soon, guys, but. It has just been so freaking rough out here. Um, it's 30 degrees right now, and like you saw, there's ice all over the rocks and um, all over the dock pilings and stuff. Water temps were 36, and I even, right now, yeah, right now they're 35.8, so it's like the coldest water I've personally ever seen um, in North Texas, barring um, two or three years ago during that um, super bad ice storm in 2020. Lake Worth actually froze all the way over, so obviously they were colder then, but in terms of actually being out on the water and fishing, this is the coldest I've ever been on, in, and my results show for that. But um, I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna try to figure something out. I did try some speed cranking today, guys. You know how much success that I had with crankbaits all year long last year. Um, I actually went as big as I'll, I'll typically go with that 3 8 ounce, um, 6 cents curve 55, and I was grinding bottom in like 8 to 10 feet really easily. I had it on 7 pound sunline on my Dobbin 700 and a Zephyr, and it felt great, and I threw the crap out of it for like an hour and a half, two hours down um, a huge stretch covering rocks and docks and uh, every and uh, some of it was windblown some of it wasn't so windblown and I still I snagged one <laughs> I snagged something and it came off halfway in but um it has just been a grind um, winter time guys and if the one bait that's actually put some fish in the boat has been the little libero that uh, Ray Japan libero and and I think I'm gonna probably just gonna have to slow down and, and start throwing some more bottom presentations if I actually want to put more fish in the boat um, but time will tell and I'm gonna keep at it. Um, if y'all stuck with me this long, I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, guys. Um, talk with me down in the comments. Share this with a finesse loving friend and uh, y'all take her easy. We'll catch you on the next one.